Anyway, once again, second time is the charm, I guess. Welcome to the third FFA. This time around, it's a full random FFA. Everybody is allowed to pick clans. We have Juanita on the Ox, Sanvar on the Lion, Anonymous Life, Anonymous Man Life on the Brown Rat, Malevich on the Purple Ox, Pastelka on the Yellow Kraken, starting with Fishing Cabin, Mokars on the Red Eagle once again, the Noob Seeker on Horse, and last but not least, Maxu 2070 on his orange bear. Nice town hall there. I like this one. Let's take a look at the map. We see Helheim again. Okay, nice. We see dwarves with iron and Jutnar right beside each other. We see elves as well as kobolds. And that's like the middle. Basically, that's all the neutrals right beside each other. That's like very clumped up. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Isn't that Alex or Pirate? I don't know. And any bets who wins? I guess it's one of the lions. Wait, it's only one lion. I think Sanvar has a good chance of winning this if he stays alive. Well, we also see wood. One last to it. Let's take a look at the individual spawns. Uh, bear, pretty spawn independent. He has one fish tile. He has a Draugr tomb here in the back, like very weird bear spawn. He can only like get attacked from this side, so if you tower this runes, this will be a hard tile to enter. And these tiles in, in the back are kinda connected to the horse. Are they? they aren't they? they? They are. I think they are connected. Very, very weird. Very weird. Um... We see eagle spawn with open iron. So he has to get the iron somewhere. Not that easy to get the iron here, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe like getting this boom for the iron should, should, be, should be nice, because all of these joggers are melee and they are kiteable. So eagle can go for that, but he obviously has to out that first and that's like not even in the second circle but in the third circle so eagle has to scout quite a lot to have that so Juanita double food tile plus a farm this ox spawn is absolutely mental he also has two very secure tiles in the back very nice ox spawn for Juanita here then anonymous man life on the red has a farm tile which is very nice like if you if you play red you usually want a farm tile because you get a lot of value from this and if this farm tile is not enough you can even build another farm here so you will have three farms in total i think two farms will be enough honestly but let's see how he plays that out also he has one stone here in the spawn he has a secure fox burrow in the back and he'll have access to a second as well as a third stone if he is fast with it. Because Eagle is not that far away here. He's not an immediate neighbor, but Eagle is not that far away. So, yeah, foxes are were not cleared by the ox. Oh, interesting. Well, let's continue with Malevich. Malevich the other ox player around has two farm tiles as well as a fish tile has an idol while you're here at the moment not ideal but the spawn looks nice enough and we see last but not least sunbar on the lion with a nice little lion spawn here i don't think he has treasure so he has to be careful uh with the gold but I think what he did in order to clear is he converted one century with gold, the other one with fame, and this way it's very, very nice because he can still upgrade his food building and he has enough gold for that. So, Bear got middle because he's very 
very close nearby, like he's very close to middle. He will also get the wood here, so very nice spawn for Maxu. Not gonna lie, this feels really, really nice. And last but not least, um, yeah, let's take a look at the Kraken spawn. Kraken has so many open tiles, like, I mean, he's kind of on his own. He is, like, very secure. He's on, like, the border of the map here. But all of his tiles are very accessible. Like, you can go from here, you can go from there. There's not really a secure tile to speak of if you're playing Kraken here. But it's nice to have a forest for the Kraken in the back there. He also starts to mine iron, which I think might be an indicator for him to, to go for relic. I'm not sure. He also starts training camp, even though he can kind of like clear that with a ghost. So I'm not sure what his plan is here, but maybe he wants to speed up his clearing process here. Maybe. Not sure, but maybe. Well, Eagle clearing the wolf den and next obviously next clearing will be the draugr tomb and after clearing this the eagle will have so much tempo as well as so much fame from from the den and the tomb and he will have enough iron for the chief i think he's mining iron isn't he no he's not mining iron he's just how did he get the three iron okay he already he already went for his pouch he already went for his pouch I'm not sure if he sees the tomb right now. Okay, that's obviously not what he sees here. Okay, um... So, Spectators is kinda bugged. Sadly. Can't even... I can only see... Okay, for, for Bear it's not that bugged, at least. But for all the others? Super bugged. Oh, the Kraken went for Chief immediately. Oh, I like this. This is a good play. This is a useful play. Okay. Let, let's just stay on om omniscient view then. Easier this way. So, Eagle colonizing like this. I guess he has foraging already. Yep, he does have foraging already. Um gets the fame from the wolf then i think it was about i don't know how much fame is it if you colonize a wolf then 48 wait let me check 48 yes okay i still got it ah finally ah i finally remembered how many how much fame you get how many fame tiles you need with eagle well now He's just chilling, kiting these droggers. This is an easy chief once cleared. Shouldn't be any sweat whatsoever. And the nice thing about this can go for the giants. And as bad as it is for the bear, I think the bear has nice tiles in the back here. So if he just towers this ruin, I don't think the eagle can do that much damage. Because if you have a bear... The bear is tanky, the tower is a, a pain to deal with. Um, I think with the bear you can defend yourself and the eagle will not try to attack you. Right? Um, yeah, it's plus 60%. You get 80, 80 from Drogas and Thor, but 48 from the wolf then. 48 from the wolf then. Instead of 30, right? Calculating 60% of 30 is uh, was not my strong suit. Good day, mate. How is it going? So, going great, Yo Joe Jiva. Welcome once again to the stream. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, by the way. I haven't asked you about the weekend, I just realized. Well, um, yeah, Eagle doing his Eagle thing. And... Ox is like, yeah, um, I see an eagle nearing the stronger tomb right in, like, right in my face. I'm gonna tower that tile up. I don't want any of this smoke. Which is fair. Which is fair. I mean, if I, if I am the eagle, I would try to kill the ox. The bordering ox here. Without, <clears throat> like, 
I won't have any problem killing this ox. Because this ox will try to kill me later on. I'm, I'm, I have to make sure that I'm killing the ox before he can kill me. But yeah. I'd really love it if my... Uh, I was able to see what the eel sees, but... Here's what it is. Yeah, I was sick all weekend. No way! I'm so sorry to hear that. But... I hope you'll get better. I hope you'll get better soon. Yeah, uh, Eagle going for Chief. Sound, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I just, sorry. I uh, I muted myself because I was coughing, but then I forgot to unmute. Yeah, if I was the eagle, I'll try to explain again. I'll just spam all these scouts. I would honestly just go for aviary one, aviary two, aviary three, spam all scouts, get the fox sparrows, get the ruins, scout the giants later, just like get all the resources on the map, and if I was the bear, I would just tower this. Is the is the bear trying to contest the ruins? Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't pick a fight with an early eagle. Just concede the tile, go for the go for the tiles in the back. But he tries, he tries to to, uh, to contest it. Maybe you will be able to get this tile. Okay, and, and he actually concedes the tile, which is... This is a huge tile. It's a sheep tile with a ruin, which is near the Jötnar. If the bear is able to get this, it would be huge. How much more does he need? Okay, he can take this now. And he takes this. How do you get the tile info to appear? Just press I on the keyboard, it's for info. Yeah, Eagle, Eagle will not be able to contest this. But, I mean, the Eagle got the uh, the Jogger Tomb here, so that's nice. Apologies for grammar. Yeah, my apologies for, for grammar, by the way. Like, I am I am not a native speaker. I can hear the game, but not your sound. I hope you can hear my sound again. I didn't see my, uh, my mic, my mixer on my uh, stream setup, because... My stream setup seems to be bugged for some reason. So yeah, nice start to the stream, right? <laughs> like bugged Northgard sound, then bugged stream setup. But yeah, anyway, bear hitting 200, towering that ruin just, just to be safe. And yeah, the eagle, I don't think the eagle wants any of the smoke with the bear, honestly. Like if I, if I was the eagle, I'd just... Try to kill the ox. I just try to kill the ox. Nice cash here. 160 wood. 120 lore. Going for the giants as of yet. He's not going for giants as of yet. The sooner the better. Like if you go for giants with three scouts. You can just um, scale with that. You can just scale with that. What's sad is I am the native speaker. I mean... Sometimes if you're a native speaker, you don't really pay attention to grammar that much because it's just natural, right? And since it's natural, you just say it as you think it's right. I mean, I'm a na native speaker German and I, I have a hard time explaining German sometimes, not gonna lie. So don't worry, don't worry, my guy. <laughs> all good, all good. 
So, yeah, Alpha Attack on the Ox? Question mark on the Ox. Let's take a look what our friend the Ox does here. Okay, the other Ox has city built three of his tiles. Once the city built another tile, I would imagine. The problem is really the lion doesn't have an immediate threat. Right? He has he has an ox on the left hand side. The ox doesn't doesn't go early. He wants to scale as well. So the lion is fine there. And he has a kraken on his right hand side. Who is like Yeah, not even not even trying to go for the lion as well in 801. So this kraken will just chill himself. Lion will chill. Ox will chill and as a reaction, both Malevich and Sanvo will be able to scale a lot. Same goes for Anonymous Man Life. I don't know if Red has a chance necessarily late game against Lion. It will be close, depending on how much stone you can get with the Red. But yeah, one thing I would do with the Red here is I would like clear this Fox Burrows, kill that, colonize that as fast as I can. Get the 100 uh, gold, or like 80 gold, I don't know how much gold it is for the rat. Let's see. 75? 75. And then build a marketplace there, because if you build a marketplace, you can buy stone in the later stages of, of the game. And even though you might not have access to stone here, because this stone is very forward, you can buy the stone in the market. So... But still, like, so many options for the rat. Eagle has not seen the ruins here on the rat side. So he has not taken that. And we might see an early attack here because I saw that Eagle has already full forged. Yep. Full forged himself. And we might see an early attack coming on the ox. Oh, nice. Nice damage on the elves here. He will be able to kill this elf. One hit. Nice one. And... I have some some trouble with my stream setup. I didn't even click anything, by the way. But I, but I saw that it changed here. So... Back to the game. <laughs> Overworking music is nice. Well, let's go and, and see... Look at the map from the rat's perspective, then. Also, lore should be top into bottom for rat. City builder rocks. That's you. That's like your normal lion build. That's the rat. That's the other ox top into middle. Kraken, carpentry kraken without knowledge from beyond. Uh, I don't know what what to think of that honestly. Um, Training field eagle should be nice. Did the ox just concede? What? And I completely missed that. So, because ox conceded immediately. He can just, the eagle can just go on Maxu. But the problem is here, if the bear stalls long enough and it goes to winter, it would be bad. But that's like, that's so much warband. Okay, I think... This will be a huge eagle win. Huge eagle win. Eagle is full forge. There is not. There loses everything. Eagle still has six. And I mean because because the, the ox gave up so early, basically doomed the game for Maxu and I think. Um The game looks super good for the eagle now. 
And he loses the tile. Still going on main immediately. Bear has to wait until winter, but he decides to fight before winter. I don't know if he will be able to defend this. Eagle will receive heavy losses though, heavy losses. One warrior dies, another warrior dies. Extra is dead as well. Okay, Eagle loses so much here though. Eagle loses so much. But yeah, Bear is down to 5 population. The Eagle will just reconvert a little bit, finish the Bear off. And then he has two neighbors dead already. He will get the fame of the Ox here in the end if he colonizes that. I don't know if he has repeat. He does not have repeat yet. So he didn't even gain that much from killing killing these guys. I mean he he gains a fame fame, but he doesn't have a feeling field. He doesn't have anything else. I don't know. What can I say guys? Doesn't doesn't look too hot. But I think it's worth it for the eagle. In the end. I think in the end it's worth it. Going for giants as well. Halo, fresh haircut. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, Lars, let's go. Best North Korean event. I, I hope so. I hope so. Let's make this a recurring theme. Yeah, Eagle is just mashing this. And not gonna lie, very sad to see Maxu going out like that because I'm 100% sure he would have easily been able to defend himself. If the ox just fought. The ox just put in a little bit more of a fight. But yeah, what, what can you say? The end of the day. The eagle is the culprit. Killing both the ox and the bear. He will get repeat value here. 120 coins for his efforts. 60 wood and 60 coins if he will be able to kill the other ox in time. He should be able to do that. In Australia we call a haircut getting your ears lowered. It's somewhat funny, no idea what it even means. <laughs> nice. That's a nice saying. I mean, getting your ears lowered. I mean, it's it's because maybe the ears stand out more if you if you've gotten a haircut. I, I have no idea. I'm only guessing here. Yeah, I don't think he will be able to get this sixty gold. I think this this is lost. Sixty coins is lost. Yeah, he is only getting the, the 60, 60 wood from this. And with this, two players are out already. Sad to see Maxu go like this. And we still have the horse, as well as the kraken, the lion, ox, rat, and of course, Mokar's eagle. So. I think it's heavily favored uh, like for for the left side like both ox lion and rat have a good shot shot at winning this really depends on who the next target for the eagle is really because <laughs> eagle is super strong he is still super strong even after killing two guys so eagle is scouting the rat right now and now the question is how fast will the rat be ready to oppose the eagle? Thank you for the follow, Jave, who ate five or Jave, depending on where you live. Welcome, welcome, my man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, eagle killing the ox now. We'll scout the rat now. Rat is kind already. Doesn't have that many. Coins and he is not forged yet, but he has four shamans. He has a chief, and he could put up a fight. He is forging farmers right now. He will forge shamans as well as scouts, and I guess he will forge 
rat relic later on if he survives somehow. I guess I'll always spawn next to the only eagle in the game. I mean, good news for you next game you will not spawn nearly an eagle. <laughs> so that's good. Are you playing ranked games after this is finished? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let's see uh, if I'm in the mood for any ranked games after this. But after this FFA, there's gonna be another FFA immediately. So that's the plan right now, at least. But yeah, I'm not opposed to playing ranked after that today. Not opposed at all. So the longer the rat can survive the better for the rat even going as far as building a third longship dock upgrading the forge to forge the shamans faster and he's kind of fortunate that the eagle is only just now scouting the forge tile because now he can finish the shaman forging and he has so much gold yeah he's trying to colonize this to have a buffer tile Eagle is denying that and let's take a look like Eagle has so much army 10 plus bodyguard 11 warband for the Eagle he's kind of all in though so this this attack is an all or nothing attempt but yeah the red is, was able to finish forging the shamans Converting the shamans, healing them up. And oh, I don't I don't know if the red has what it takes to, to defend this tile. It's it's only 11 shamans. You don't have Milstrat. You don't even have enrollment as of yet. Oh erudition was such a such a greedy take. And he's trying to defend this. Going in. The fighting sound is not there. He gets the chief. He kills the chief. Huge win for the rat. And the eagle attack is mostly repelled. He even goes so far as chasing the eagle out there. Killing the rest of the units. Oh no, oh no, yeah FFA is, is just like every, everyone against everyone, <laughs> that's that's FFA. But man, that is, ah, uh... that is rough for uh, more cars. I don't know if he can, can recover from this, he should be, I mean, you will get the giant eventually. You have your 600 now, so you can retake all the treasures. We have like two ruins on the side. It's not over for the eagle by any means, but since you picked the fight with the rat, there is a good chance the rat might retaliate. What would be the funniest clan to get in the next game? In an FFA like this? What's the, the most fun? I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing wolf, like eight player wolf would be very fun. And yeah, I guess like eight player goat would be very fun as well because I guess nobody wants to attack anyone. <laughs> so that would be full on stalemate situation. I don't know, what, what, what which uh, clan would you love to see, Rival? Is there any clan you'd like to see? Because honestly, I'm fine with any clan really. Okay, not any clan. Please, please don't have lion. Please not eight lion. They play in clans? Yes, this time they picked clans, but uh, the next time they won't pick clans. By the way, horse is just having time of his life. Big chilling. Kraken, Kraken as well. Like both Kraken and horse will not be that much of a threat, but they will. Maybe they'll they'll be the wild cards to tip the the scales in the favor of someone because even though they might not be able to win the game themselves, um, they could potentially raise some some threats to the lion if the lion's army is somewhere else. 
Uh, question in chat. Can I join next FFA if I don't have all the sieves? I will roll the wheel with all the clans. Then you will see which clan will get selected. And if you are lucky enough that the clan selected is a clan you have, then you can join the FFA. If the clan selected is a clan which you don't have, then you can't join, sadly. Let's go, roll the music. How many, how much HP do they have and how many shamans are there? It's four shamans with 66 HP. Thanks. No worries, no worries, man. No worries. Okay, an eagle comes once again. Just pressuring the rat. Doesn't have that much though. I think that's, that's gonna be relic, no? That's gonna be relic. It is relic. But it's not the relic I would have guessed. It's not Garm, it's Jar. Okay. I don't know what to think of that. But hey, it's fine. Eight line actually sounds kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know. Imagine eight stones. I think Wolf would be the best. Honestly, Wolf would be the best. Anyway, Red's still hacking away on the stone, more eagle units coming in, I I like that the eagle is trying to contest this rat so early on, otherwise the rat might be too big of a threat later on. Red will have to convert more, convert more unit, wounded units, but he has enrollment now, so he can convert a lot, and he is converting a lot, right in the November overwork. Has to be painful for the rat. Doesn't really care. Eagle has to leave. Rat can just work the rest of the stone there. He has two fisherman huts for winter. That's such a funny rat build, by the way. He has not taken the fox burrows in the back as of yet. Doesn't have the food. Tiles are very expensive for the rat right now. But he will get the jar eventually. He will heal up with the shamans. And now he's going... To scout the eagle and man, since the eagle went for for altar, he doesn't have that many resources left. So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, contesting food very early is so funny. Everyone's gonna starve or gonna feast for for goat, right? Or no, for for uh, for wolf for wolf because. Every wolf is trying to contest the map. Suggestions. Don't put the last clans that have been chosen on the wheel. Oh, right. I don't have eagle on the wheel. You're right about this. Oh, that's a nice... That's a nice cache for the eagle. That's another big cache for the eagle. So, eagle's very strong. Eagle against red will be a very nice fight. And we see a convert. Huge convert coming out of the lion. My guess is that Kraken kind of, yeah, Kraken is, is on there. Kraken is not forged and Kraken will lose this against the, uh, the Fantasins. But there's going to be a fight. Gonna be a fight. Lion Eco. Not that great, because Lion had to convert. I have to take a look at the resources. Yeah, Lion Eco, honestly, not that great. And thank you for the sub, Bodan, on YouTube. Welcome, my man. I appreciate it. Okay, so it's Eagle against Red. Dragon against Lion. With the Ox just chilling in the back. And the Horse just towering everything. So, I mean, Kraken has a lot of gold left. He's up to 12 warriors, but he doesn't have charge. Maybe he doesn't really care about not having charge. 
Maybe that's like a good tech actually. Maybe that's a good tech. Not have charge to not like self kill yourself with deflect. I don't know. Oh, and and Ox is getting uh, trying to team on the lion. Lion is getting attacked on both sides. Okay, so teaming on the lion. I see. Nice dancing with the Phantasins. He will lose this Phantasin if he doesn't pay attention. Yeah, that's lost. And now a huge fight between the Kraken and the Lion. And honestly, Lion is losing this. Lion is losing this hard. He only has three tiles uh, set up with the Smithies as well as the Phantasim camps. So, I mean, Kraken is winning this right now. Like, he's winning this against Phantasins. It's 11 Phantasins now. Oh, that, that's 16 Shamans for the rat. Wait, rat still has only 66 health? And another fight avoided. Okay, so... Huge fight here on Sunvar's side. And now, now the Kraken gets full wiped. Huge defend for the Lion. But still, like, econo okay, economically, it sucks a little bit for the Lion. Ox Relic got forged. Like some, some fighting noises, still not really there, but it's fine. And the lion just goes on the ox as a form of retaliation. Okay, eel on 11 warband. Plus Yurton. Plus full forged army. Okay, two big fights brewing. Horse is just chilling. Horse is just big on chilling. Horse just doesn't care. I think. If he has to be careful. Hild Hildegard, Hildegard, Hildegard is dead. Ox is pressing relic. And these warriors are just hammering away. And they're killing the Phantasins. Ox chasing even. Taking a bad entrance. All meanwhile, Eagle took the tile away from the from the rat. So rat has to be careful. He's getting more shamans as of now. 77 health now. And he got legions, which is very important. Like rat unlocking legions is a big deal. Like the veterans, the 1500 uh Legion's thingy. And I think this is gonna be a big fight. Let's see it. Would be bad entrance. He doesn't have a unit to um, distract this entire army. So if he would if he would go on this tile, it would be really, really bad. And he loses another tile to the eagle. So two tiles lost already. He has eco in the back though, but this is one scary looking eagle. Not even sure if he wins this, to be completely honest, because he doesn't have mill threat yet. Yeah, tight game, tight game. But he has Jar now, so... Eco is nice. Can't Eagle enter this? Okay, Eagle leaves. Enters the Forge tile. Horse is just chilling. Oh my god, and the giant! And now now he realizes, maybe. Now he realizes. Wait, I can enter this tile? And Red goes in. Huge fight! Red focusing the focusing the giant. Chief has to go out. 
Giant dying for the eagle. Griff dying for the eagle. And after all is said and done, eagle wipes the rat. Still has 10 warband left. How much can the rat reconvert? I mean, the rat was able to kill both the giant and the chief. And he is... He'll lose this tile if he doesn't enter here. He will lose this tile. Oh, and he doesn't see it. He will lose that. Pouch will get looted. And red is basically... Saved here. Damn, I think this, this fight was... Heavily beneficial for the rat and the whole game because... Eagle lost Chief? Eagle doesn't really care about Chief, but Eagle lost his Giant. And now Red is going on the Eagle. Doesn't go on the Altar tile as of yet, because... I mean, it's 11 against 12. I don't even know... If this fight is gonna be an Eagle favor. As we hear the Overwork coming out of the Red once again. Horse is food capped. I mean, take this tile, my guy. Well, horse is literally just chilling in the back. And both the lion and the ox are like super crippled. Wait, what is going on there? The lion just dead? Oh, the lion might be dead here. Nine warriors for the for the. Ox. Oh no, that is way too much army. Way too much army. I think he doesn't have he doesn't have march field. Yeah, he doesn't have march field. March field increases your um your deflectability, like your chance from ten percent to fifteen percent. So. Having Marshfield here would be a nice bonus. Yeah, I don't think this will be a good fight for the Lion. Don't want to miss the... Uh, the Red fight. Wait, what is this Deerstalker doing there? Wait, what is that? Nice. Hello? Hello? Where? Um. Um. Interesting. Well, I don't want to miss this fight. Okay, this entrance is super bad. I don't think the rat will enter this. Does Mokars have fur? He does have fur. Does Anonymous Man Life have fur? Not telling. <laughs> the zombie units. Is it still zombie unit? Wait. Yeah, he lost the tile. And the lion against all odds goes down against the strong ox of Malevich. And a huge fight meanwhile between Red and Eagle. Mate, I looked away for one second and the fight's over. And the Red with his 82.5 HP shamans is able to kill Mokars, who contributed heavily to the game, like killing two neighbors, plus almost killing the rat. That was pretty wild. Pretty wild. So, eagle dead. Lion dead. Only ox, rat, kraken, horse left. And not gonna lie, if the horse just 
scales in the back. Anything could be possible here. Do you know these players? Yes, I know these players. I know Sanvar, I know uh, Malevich, I know Vokars, I know uh, Stefan. I know all of these. The only... Uh, I, I knew Maxu as well, the, uh, the bear. The only wild components are basically like maybe the horse like, and maybe Kraken. That's it. Horse doesn't even have second second gold building upgraded as of now. Yeah, I think at this point, Red is just Giga scaling because Red has Jar as well as so much stone to work with. But he has to work the stone, of course. That's a nice little house. That's a nice little house. The upgraded forge as well. Nice little house. So... Uh, yeah, Ox recovering after killing the lion. Rat recovering after killing the eagle. Kraken and horse still chilling. Like... He got chilling. What is this? I mean, this is enough for, I don't know, 25 plus ghosts. Like, I don't know, 30, 35 convert. I mean, I think I kept my ground well in 1v2. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, fighting 1v2 is always going to be super rough. You get teamed on, there's only so much you can do. I mean, how much can the Kraken convert? 21. He does not have his Warriors Forged. He didn't even take the, the forest tile in the back with the stone on there. And he did not even take the Ruin. Mate, that's absolutely wild. What is going on? Okay, so, I mean, not, not wanting to sound rude, but... Kraken and horse are new. Kraken and horse are super new. And it's b basically between the ox and the rat to win this at this point. The only problem could be that horse might just figure out, yeah, I can clear and I can colonize more and then go for fame win. But I mean, I mean. Uh, the, the Kraken really has to has to forge his warriors. Masteka, if you're in chat, forge your warriors, please. Please forge your warriors. Please forge your warriors. Well, anyway, Thorfinn gonna dig this ancient battleground near the rat. Nothing to see there. I'm just minding my own business. Don't come over here. And the red shamans will reach 100 health eventually. If he starts upgrading more shaman camps. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that red has 430 coins at this point. I, I would have guessed that that would be like way, way more... Also, red should just work both of the stone miners. Please work the mine. ASAP. 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 Please. At least this one. He's just nearby. Nope. That's, that has to be trolling, no? Okay, he sent, he sent us two miners there, okay. Hello, not long time no see. This seems fun. Hello, Beanface. Welcome. We got a legend in chat, by the way. The legend. At one point, we uh, started renaming ourselves Beanface. And here we are. Beanface, one of the few people in ladder who's always top 10. 
But yeah, it, it started as an inside joke and then it kind of escalated, so... He is the original. He is the original Beanface. He is the one why we name ourselves Beanface in his honor sometimes. And he is here today. So, Stefan, somebody who renamed himself Beanface, might be able to win this FFA. Okay, he has to repair his buildings here though. He has to repair his farm. Sending his woodcutters back. The problem you have with rat, since you don't have houses, you can only like reassign your villagers on your town hall. And it makes sense to like have one villager nearby in case this kind of event happens and it hits your farm. And at this in this case it was like very very bad. Oh my god, wait, we see huge convert out of the ox. I just realized this this blob of warriors in the land VD. 10 plus 9.5. This is going to be a big fight. But the the red has 100 HP shamans now. So it's gonna be a close fight. Does he have blood ties? Oh, he even destroyed a shaman camp. Now they are not 999 HP anymore. He has blood ties. Okay, I think red wins this. I think Red should win this. So, a little bit of beef going out, going on in my chat. What is going on? We're just, we're just watching some chill Northgard. And yeah, this is gonna be a huge fight. I don't know if Red wins this necessarily. Ox Relic is pretty strong. More shamans coming from the back. As well as... From here. Mm, excuse me. Well. I think Ox is gonna go on the food. Nope. Much of a risk. Huge fight! And the red popped blood ties. And forces the fight. 13 against 9. Iron dies. And red wins this in the end. Huge win for the red. But Thief died. So that was not ideal. Also losing a tile in the process. But he will be able to clean up the ox. And the ox does not have any coins left. And meanwhile, even though Ox and Lion, uh, Ox and Red went all in and kind of fought against each other. We see Kraken as well as the horse fighting. Huge fight here! Who is winning this? Horse is winning this! And Horse! Killing the Kraken units here on Thor's Ruff, losing both chiefs in the process. So, obviously, Rat looking to finish the job here. Eight shamans. Ah, uh, should be... should be about enough. And a huge fight once again between Rat and Ox. Yeah, these shamans are just tanky as hell. Only Torfin left to punch these shamans. Punched one! Torfin is strong as well. And we will see most likely a showdown. Oh wait, I mean Ox is not dead yet. Ox is not dead yet. 
Ox, Ox has recovery. And Red will get wiped. Or will he get wiped? There's one warrior somewhere in between. I mean, Ox, Ox survives! Ox survives another day. Are passive wins possible? Yes! Every win condition is possible here. Red just got wiped. And Red has decent recovery, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he has recruitment. Oh, never mind, he has recruitment. Okay, Red is fine. Red is giga fine. Red is, like, super fine. Yeah, and as I say that, he's converting way, way more. The shamans have 100 HP now. Oh, he's chasing this one. He wants this one. Getting two sheep in the process. And horse? After that, is able to kill the Kraken. What is going on? The, the de giga defensive horse. With both Mjolnir and... Does he even have Mjolnir? I don't even know. Does he have Mjolnir? Yes, Murdier. With Murdier and Dine's life and upgraded training camps, takes down the Kraken here. I mean, what a story! What a story! Well, now the Ox kind of has to has to decide how long he'll be able to repel the rats. He's kinda on an, on a cooldown. Like not not gonna lie, it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too good. Ox relic gets pressed. I mean Ox is killing this. Ox is killing this. And Red is not able to finish off the Ox here. I mean Ox ha only has seven seven working units right now but red has to bring more red has not reached criminal mass here ox will be able to kill one more shaman and i think the only possible way of horse winning this joe yo shiva you you just pointed that out in chat is if the horse goes on red right now because these shamans are Way, way too tanky. And it's only getting worse from here on out. More shamans coming. More warriors dying. And if you guys didn't know, Ox does not have recruitment. Does Ox have recruitment? I don't think he does. Oh, he has medicine instead. Because of City Builder occupying the recruitment slot. And Rat can easily, like... Sustain this, get the eco going after having like so many dead units. Ox really can't. Red is way better at, at this compared to Ox. Your favorite to win right now should be Rat. Should be Rat. Does Horus have the map scouted? I mean, we will never find out because spectators is spectator thing is kind of bugged. But look at this! Look at this! Horse is going on rats! Horse is going on rats! And he's... Oh my god, he's barricading this? There was literally zero chance of rat defending this tile, no? Oh my god, and now horse is on the rat as well. Oh my god, imagine! Imagine. Imagine. I can't. I can't. What is this? What is this? And now, Ox and Horse are teaming up on the rat. And what can I tell you? Like, Ox doesn't have anything. So. If the rat can repel the horse, he's gonna be fine. Horse is starving! Horse is starving! Oh no! Horse is giga starving! What is going on? Oh my god, what, how, how did that happen? 
Horse is just starving at this point. Horse will die of starvation. He will have to enter this, and I mean the ox will will enter enter the tile on the on the top, but oh, at, at this point Horse will just starve, and he's and he's taking the fight, huge fight here. Eleven shamans left, ten shamans left. I are going out. Horse is is chasing. Horse is going out. There is a, a cat and mouse. They're going back and forth. But the, the horse will get wiped at this point. Oh no, the horse will get wiped. Disaster. And it's it's 10 shamans left and they will just run down the ox at this point. Oh no, and the ox relic, I mean, he can only do that much. Ox relic can only do that much. And... The rat is able to repel... The 1v2, oh that's so sad, but nice defend by the rat. And with this, Ox is converting more. He has 6 warriors again, he has his dwarves. Anonymous man life has reached 1000 fame, I only see 800. Interesting stuff is going on. And these shamans are well over 100 HP now. The Giga Chat Horse. Does he have something left in the tank though? Or is he just is he just dead now? He has like all the buildings upgraded. Horse has to go on red again. Horse has to go on red again. Go on red. Just go on red. ASAP. Red is gonna red is gonna kill the ox. Yeah, twenty nine pop is nice. But yeah, these these shamans are too strong, too strong, too damn strong. I think the only thing that holds back the red from killing the ox is the malice here. I think the rat just heals up again. Does it have Milstrat at this point? Should have. Yeah, I mean... Red is converting more. He does not have blood ties. I don't think the rat really needs blood ties. If it's if it's this much of a convert, 16 against 8. Ah, it's still gonna be close. It's still gonna be close. Would a 20 plus army from horse would be be enough to kill rat later? No. No way. No way. But good question, Ash Bob. Uh... Horse is now scouting the ox. <laughs> that's not your enemy, that's your friend. Oh wait, Noob Seeker has reached over 1000 fame. He just needs tiles. Horse just needs tiles and, and that's it. Horse just needs tiles. And Rat is just going up, scaling 19 payments now. Ox just doesn't have the pop. Ox just doesn't have the pop. Nine warriors are, are great. Nine warriors are fine, but... Oh, and, and double Murkalf now. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But double Murkalf on the red tile as well. Which has to get addressed. I mean, Red has so many resources. And these elves obviously will go on the other ox tiles afterwards as well. So, sending two shamans to kill the milk elf. I mean, these shamans are so tanky. Not gonna be close. 
And these elves will now enter the next ox tile. And the ox is already waiting there. And Red, for some reason, did not enter with the elves and instead tried killing the elves. <laughs> and now Ox enters. What is going on? Relic out of the Ox. Red Chief is dead. And these shamans, I mean... What can I say? What can I say? Both have 3000 military XP now. Red is killing everything and anything. Maybe even getting some of the pop here. Careful with the woodcutter. Yep, woodcutter dies at the expense of another shaman. Nice micro by Malevich. I mean, Ox is picking up a lot of, like, lots of units left and right. Eight shamans left only. Good micro by the Ox, but at this point it's only Torfin left, now the Ox has to reconvert and I think if the Ox reconverts, he will be able to repel this attack once again. Not gonna lie. This is gonna be close. Two more two more warriors, yep. Four more shamans left. And these will get picked off as well. And while all of this is happening, horse is recovering. Why is Horus not fame winning? I can't tell you. He's trying. Oh my god, now Horus is trying to fame win this. Five more tiles. Five more tiles for the horse. Can he do it? Can the ox survive long enough for the horse to fame win? Yeah, Ox makes use of the Torfin incredibly well. Yep, it does. Strong as Torfin. Nice micro by the rat. Killing this one warrior. I'm I'm actually amazed how how long the ox survives this. It's actually insane. It's insane how long the ox was able to survive this this onslaught, this rat onslaught. I are getting recruited back. Both and entering now. More warriors dying. 11 population left for the Ox. Another warrior recruited. He's not going down without a fight. Oh, and Red is clicking the, the Torfin. Red is clicking the Torfin. Terrible mistake. Not clicking the warrior. And the Ox once again is able to repel the attack. Like... And the horse is attacking again! Oh my god. The horse is attacking again. With the barricade here. I didn't even see! And he's taking the tiles, he's taking the tiles now. I don't even know how how 
How the ox is still alive, honestly. Oh, don't. Don't go. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, no. He goes in there. And now, now he'll just. Oh, no. Oh, no. One warrior down. Another warrior most likely dying. Oh, no. And I think. With this. Yox might be dead, but no, 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 he, ca he can't chase anymore. He can't chase anymore. And he's getting attacked by three foxes in the back, and the horse in front, and, the, and an ox in the back. Horse, please don't tell me you're starving again. Please don't tell me you're starving again. You have 30 population. He's starving again. Horse, mate. Don't work your gold. Don't work your gold. Stop your gold. Oh no, horse is starving again. Horse will starve. Huge fight here in the middle. Huge fight. But the red units are just so strong. It's a close fight though. It's a close fight. Ox Relic doesn't do anything. Iron will die. Oh my god, that was so lucky. And Ox helping out with some units. Now both of them standing on the tile. Essentially this, this FFA turned into a 1v2. This is just a 1v2 at this point. The Ox Relic was too far away in face. The Ox Relic was too far away. And the red is able to repel the ox attack. Barricade here gets destroyed. I think even if you're 1v2, you lose this. Yeah, horse is losing this. Ox enters afterwards, will get chased down. Gather with the chief. You don't want to lose your chief here. Oh, and. Oh no, and Dread is able to kill the Torfin. Torfin is dead. Torfin is dead. And the Rat will keep going on the Ox here. While getting harassed by a Fox in the back. And I think the Ox is dead. Now, only question is, can the horse tame win? I don't think he can. He should try though. Yeah, Red, Red essentially 1v3 himself against foxes and oxes and horses. Yeah, the last fight of Malevich here, giving it everything, really. Yeah, but what, what a game, what a, what a defend by the Ox. Absolutely insane. At least he charged two upgraded Shaman camps. <laughs> but yeah, Red going on the main now. Killing off all the pop. Only four more pop left. That's the last pop of the ox. And that is Malevich going out in third place. More shamans coming out. Nihao Ice ASD. Welcome, my man. Yeah, big rip for the Ox. I, in my opinion, the MVP definitely goes for the Ox here. That was such a valiant effort. 
And yeah, now the only two guys remaining are the rat and unexpectedly, unexpectedly, the horse. So rat only needs three more tiles. Horse needs five more tiles. And I think if the rat just goes and colonizes here, he might be able to win this. He needs an altar though. He needs to mine another 14 stone in order to fame win. So I guess he might just go on the horse, take his tiles, maybe try to kill him. If he doesn't kill him, he can recover. And if he kills him, it's GG anyway, right? Where is my recruitment on Ox? Yeah, right. Kinda, kinda sucks that you don't have recruitment there. Yeah, red is red is gonna gonna be very strong, but the units will have a huge malice too. The units will have a huge malice, and they're fighting essentially against the militia and the chiefs and the towers with malice. Maybe the horse has a chance here. But, it, but it's 16. 16 shamans. This is gonna be rough to defend. Boar goes down. Does he really? I doubt it. But. It would be a, a, a welcome surprise, wouldn't it, Sunvar? Yeah, killing all the neutrals, killing the, the kobolds, killing the elves as well. Ah. Uh. 18 shamans now. 18 shamans. And now he's going on horse. And I, th I don't think the horse notices that this tile is open. This is not towered. This would be so bad. And Red just goes on the horse. Horse calls the early GG in chat. Um, we see a huge convert coming out of the horse again. I mean, maybe the fight is gonna be close. Maybe. I don't know. The malice is huge though. The malice will be 20% out of 20%. And a huge fight brewing here. 17 shamans. It's just too much. The horse is not going down without a fight though. And yeah. With this. Horse is on zero coins. Doesn't have anything left in the tank. Rat is on the horse main. Going there immediately. Horse dropping out in second place and congratulations to the Reds.